Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber! Timber! Watch! <laughs> Coming back at you today with another fun and exciting video where we're going to be lot testing this Hornady Precision Hunter for my Seekins Havoc PH2 chambered in 300 PRC. So what exactly is lot testing and why am I doing it? Well, before we jump into what lot testing is, let's talk about these three different boxes of ammunition that I have in front of me. I took my Seekins PH2 to the range the other day to see which of these three it would shoot the best with, and it didn't care for the Hornady Outfitter. We're talking over MOA group sizing with both of the three-shot groups, and it kind of liked the Hornady match, but not really in love with it compared to what it shot with the Precision Hunter, which shot two sub three-shot MOA groups and a .2 MOA two-shot group because I didn't have a third round because I had run out of ammunition. So it really liked the Precision Hunter. So what exactly is lot testing? Well, I know that this rifle liked this Precision Hunter. Now on this box, it actually has a lot number which essentially is kind of like the brewed on date with beer, letting you know beer. when it was made. Now, like a brewery, sometimes ammunition manufacturers run out of ingredients that they need to make their bullets. Now, typically the ingredients that they'll run out of will either be primers or gunpowder, and they'll have to use something similar in order to be able to produce the same effect or close to the same effect that the ammunition was originally developed to deliver. Now, we are seeing kind of a discrepancy right now with Hornady 7mm PRC ammunition, as you might have seen some videos floating around on YouTube where people are advertising that, hey, I'm getting anywhere from 100 to 150 or 200 feet per second slower velocities than what is advertised on the box. And that's actually because Hornady right now cannot get the correct gunpowder needed that they originally developed the 7mm PRC round with and for. And so the gunpowder they're currently using is producing slower velocities. Now, whether or not that affects the accuracy, who knows? I don't have a 7mm PRC, but I do have this Seekers PH2 chambered at 300 PRC, and we're going to go and lot test these three boxes. Now, I have one of these boxes is the same lot as the one that I shot the other day. That's going to be our control, meaning that box of ammunition was made in the same batch as this ammo, and it should shoot just as well. Now, the two other boxes were made with different lot numbers, and so we have three different lot numbers to test through. So let's get to the range, see what the velocity is like, and then also see how the accuracy stacks up. Just like that, we are at the range, and I have my three different lots of the Hornady Precision Hunter ammunition. Now, I'm gonna be shooting five shot groups to get their average velocity. And in order to track that or measure it, we're using the Magneto Speed V3 chronograph, which is attached to the end of the barrel. Now, because the bayonet is attached onto the barrel, we're not shooting for accuracy with these groups because it'll throw off the barrel harmonics. That'll come next. Just fired three Fowlers to get the barrel a little bit dirty. So we're not getting clean barrel statistics. Now, let's go ahead and put five down on paper with this control group. 2,870. Advertised velocity is 2,860. All right, let's go ahead and put round two down on paper. 2,841. All right, round three. 2,850. Round four. 2,868. And round five. 2,857 with an average of 2,857 which is only three feet per second slower than advertised box velocity. Let's let the rifle cool and get into lot number two. Lot number two, round number one. 
2,854. Round number two. thousand eight hundred and sixty seven round number three two thousand eight hundred and fifty five all right round three two thousand eight hundred and fifty three last but not least round five of lot number two two thousand 853 with an average of 2,856. Now the interesting thing about this is this lot only has a standard deviation of 6.0 whereas the first lot had a standard deviation I believe of 12.1. So let's let the rifle cool, probably clean it, and then we'll get into lot three. All right, on to lot number three, round number one. After cleaning the barrel and getting a fowler downrange. Woo! 2,871 feet per second, coming in at 11 feet per second over advertised velocity. Round number two of lot number three. This bat was kicking. 2,887 feet per second, smoking, smoking velocities. All right, round three of lot three. Just remember, advertised velocity on this is 2,860. Woo! Oh, man, 2,000. 886 feet per second. This might be a barrel burner box. Round three, or round four of lot three. Let's get this tucked into my shoulder nice. This thing's definitely kicking. Oh my goodness, folks, 2,897 feet per second. Whew! All right, folks, final round of lot three. Bullet number five. Ooh, Mama Sita. I better tuck in for this one. Holy smokes, folks. Are you seeing this? 2,924 feet per second. And I'm not kidding, folks. When I tell you, advertised muzzle velocity on this is 2,860 feet per second. That is 64 feet per second faster than advertised. And on this one, we had an average of 2,893 feet per second. Think about that. First box was an average of 2,857. Second box was 2,856. And this box averaged 2,893. This is like getting up there with a 300 Weatherby, folks. Okay. Seriously, that has got some serious speed behind it. Now, the standard deviation on this was substantially higher than the first two at 19.6, with the first one being around 12, second one being six even. So, much greater standard deviation on this. But dang, folks, look at that 2,924 feet per second with a 212 grain ELDX out of Hornady Precision Hunter. Let's test out the accuracy. Mm. Well, if you wanna see the accuracy showdown, you're gonna to have to stick around for part two, which means you need to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because unfortunately, I was at the range today for almost two and a half hours. And by the time that I got done shooting, 
the velocity test, that barrel was hotter than a whore in a Southern Baptist church in Texas on the 4th of July with no AC. And I didn't have enough time to let it cool because there was only about 40 minutes left until they closed up shop. So I decided to go ahead and pack it up and I'll be back out there probably tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned and keep an eye out for part two where we do this accuracy showdown. And boy, I'll tell you what, I'm very excited to see how lot number three compares to lot number one and two. Because one and two, very, very similar average velocities. But lot number three, yeah, that bad boy went scorched earth. So stick around, see you next time.